Hi, in this video I will show you how to download a website and analyze a special element in a HTML document. So what I want to uh, download here and analyze is a translate site like this one. It's Google, trans Google Translate. I have here German stuff and uh, translating to the English stuff. Also, this is now an Ajax. Uh, it, it will not work totally, but it's just how uh, how uh, to show how the download of a or analyzation of a website works. So this is the site what we see there, and I already created uh, that stuff. I have uh, written the as a string the URL uh, address, which is called translategoogle.com hl english and then uh, from german to english and then here is the uh, translation stuff and now uh, in a previous video i showed how to make uh, to create a s synchronous straightforward um, download of a document but this may hang if you have don't if you don't have a connection to the internet uh, so <coughs> normally you, you program um, an asynchronous uh, function. The asynchronous function or method works like this. Uh, you create you uh, you have to create a new URI address which is based on the URL. So this is the address as a string and this is a universal um, address. Then you create a new web client. A web client is nothing uh, else than a downloader uh, download or of an internet site and uh, it doesn't work with JavaScript and all that stuff it's just low uh, going to the internet site uh, upload download and all that stuff but not uh, no script as as far as I know and plain stuff and then we have the web client uh, in uh, what what we have to do there in this case is <coughs> we have to look for the web client uh, just stop it here <coughs> when you push on there uh, and in IntelliSense you see there is the uh, web the do, this this with the flash the symb uh, icon is uh, are the events then you say okay it's uh, we need the download completed event and then when you push there uh, plus equals then you will see press tab to uh, insert this new uh, function uh, method so that's the ev event handler I already already created this one so this says okay <coughs> create an event handler which reacts on this on the on on what happens when the download is completed so in the next point I say okay the download string uh, please web client go uh, with the download string async asynchronous so this one runs in the background and when the when uh, when the stuff is downloaded then the event handler takes over the on on the action so we started we created the event on runtime and then we come back with uh, then we started that's the event then we started then we have uh, when this one when the stuff comes in we say okay first check on errors and then we go to the download so now I will do this now I will run it <coughs> and I in this case I'd, I I'm, will run it in a word add-in so but it doesn't do it. Uh, that's the same on Windows Forms, uh, WinForms, and WPF. So when I press the bu button translate, then as you see, <coughs> the stuff went out. Uh, so the code run uh, ran through this uh, point. It created the download, uh, the handler, it, and then it came in here. And now we have the create me a new HTML document. Uh, HTML document is this one where, which you, uh, you have when you are on the website and 
when you uh, make this um, scrutinizing of uh, something then you have all these points and the XML uh, all those nodes so and when I close this again then we say okay <coughs> since we since this command or this event is download string means that the result of the uh, of the argument here the second argument is returns in a in a string itself if you take other uh, download methods for example a file or read uh, something then it's not a string so this is a string in this case and now we transfer the string straight into the HTML document with a load HTML that's what we see here so this is the HTML uh, is the, the string which was downloaded by the web client when we step through there <coughs> then now the document is load, loaded and now we will say okay document document node select a single node so I want to know the node a span node <coughs> this means give me a span node and there especially this one with the ID equals result box so when I go through there then the node itself is now shift F9 um, add to the watch one now when we have when we are here this is the a node and the node has uh, is from the type span it's inside of the HTML ag agility pack HTML attribute con collection and all stuff so we, you, ne you need to you uh, embed the namespaces HTML agility pack and system net and now when you, when we are here this is the node and the inner uh, HTML and inner text is nothing because uh, the website is loaded as uh, uh, with uh, Ajax and with uh, JavaScript active, but the out at the outer HTML you will see this is the node itself. So this is the right stuff. What what happened? And that's how um, how you download a website in a asynchronous mode. As you see there, it's uh, it reacts you have to to put everything <coughs> into the ev download event and when the system comes back then you are you are at this point i hope i could help you at this point and if you have further questions ask me on the uh, comment block